This is truly my real hair. And I want you to tell me otherwise. Yes, and we bring it back, Miss Maya. You know, if I had a dollar for all of the time, I thought I found the right one. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Demaya. If you're new here, I'm doing another tape and install, but this time I'm partnering with Curls Queen, which is my favorite hair company. Um, they sent me over these 20 inch light yaki tape ins and the ultra full set, which is 300 grams, which are true to length and very true to thickness. It's more so of like a guided trial versus a tutorial because this is my first time doing it on myself. And yeah, it turned out pretty okay. Well, it turned out great actually for it to be my first time. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I already straightened my hair last night. Well, I am lying. I straightened my hair a few hours ago. I also straightened the tape ends. This is one bundle. Hold on. I'm trying to get it together. This is one bundle. And I think they match my texture pretty well. Um, the luster is a little different, obviously, but it matches good enough. I'm kind of nervous to do these on myself. I've done them on my friend, but doing it on yourself is a whole different ball game <clears throat> anyway they did send me with the tape ends came this pouch it's really like a bonnet as well that's actually what it is it's a bonnet <laughs> this came in there a little brush which i really appreciate i always use another brush and then they have these to keep your hair out of the way um, more tape which I didn't even realize that came in there so love that more tape there's a lot too so yeah we gonna need those and they sent three clips so I'm gonna start off by sectioning my hair in a half of half down because when you're doing tape ends you want to be able to you know, have versatile. You want to be able to have versatility. And we're going to use these clips that they gave. Thank you. Um, and then I'm going to section off the basically leave out. So when I put my hair in half of half down, I have um you know hair to cover it all right now you also have to part out a perimeter i wish i had a a, a back mirror oh let me use my makeup mirror hold on okay that looks pretty good I just gotta do this side. This side isn't either. I'm about to get assistance. Hold on. You see where it's like, I just need to like straighten it up. So you want to curve still? Yeah, I want to curve, but like... Why are you so tall right now? <laughs> I don't know. Are you always this tall? Yes. What? <laughs> Maybe I just never stood in the back of your head. <laughs> she needs straight. All right. I'm going to take these to hold this hair down. It's just little Velcro patches. When you're doing tape ends, you want to do real small sections with your hair, real thin sections, and you want to like shape the tape ends in a circle or you just a rounded shape, you know. So like when you pull it up into a ponytail, it goes up naturally, and you don't have to like worry about if something is sticking out. If you're gonna be doing this at home, you have to have two mirrors or else you need somebody else's help. Okay, okay.
You just peel it off. This is not a tutorial. I'm just letting y'all know. This is a a, <laughs> a challenge. Huh? A challenge. This is a trolley area. I'm gonna lightly clamp these just to melt the glue a little bit or tape, whatever you want to call it. I think it's blue. If you do it like this, do not hold it on there. I'm done with the back. So I want to be able to do the side part.
put it back. I'm gonna finish this and I'll be back for this part. My hair is so dense, it won't blend if I don't.
feel like a little chubby on top. So I'm just gonna follow and just do this and put some right there. So it's the next day. Um, I wanted to layer the hair. I didn't feel like doing it last night. It's like part of the seventh video. I put on the same shirt, so my own business. Um, I'm gonna start in the front. My hair is kind of laid here in front, so I'm just following that. And if I cut my hair, I'm not sure because I'll probably need to trim anyway. It just needed to blend a little bit more like into it. I wish I could see the back. But 
because I know the back needs it real bad. And for this side, since I can't cut it like this, I'm gonna twist my hair and then cut it like that. Who taught me that trick? I think Vicky Loki taught me that trick. Do not be afraid to layer your hair because cutting your hair, cutting your weave is better than walking around with unblended hair. Because what's the point of wearing weave if it's not gonna look right? I think that's all of the layering I'm gonna do. I'm scared to do the back. way to keep your flyaways down without making your hair like hard. to make a disclaimer i know a lot of people um you hear that tape bends break your hair off um i feel like that's due to like how you were moving and a lot of people be trying to move on themselves and don't be doing it properly because i know because i was one of those people the first time i had tape bends i just put water and conditioner on my hair i ripped them out i didn't rip them out literally but I didn't remove them properly, and I definitely had breakage. Um, but this time, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it the right way. <laughs> take care of them how you would take care of your real hair. Real hair, because at the end of the day, um, your real hair is between, it's sandwiched between the legs. So yeah, wrap it up at night. You know, keep it detangled. Don't put too much. Um, don't put too much uh, strain, I guess, on the tape ends. Like, you don't want to be pulling on the tape ends, having them in ponytails for a long time. Oh, yeah, and if you're not someone who fly irons the hair all the time, I don't think it's for you. Um, I mean, if you want to start, then yeah. But just know that you will be fly ironing your hair all the time. Uh, your hair is going to get sweated out so if you want to maintain the sleek look you're going to have to fly your hair there's like no way around it but they do have tape ends they do have curly tape ends so if you're you know if you're looking for that check them out and that way you can you know get the style without always having to have your hair straightened because you can't straighten the curly tape ends. I'm going to put a little bit of air this. Not too much. 
I need to show y'all how versatile it is. Duh. Okay, I'm gonna be looking at myself. Oh, yes, we can do it on the other side as well. I think I need this installed up. What y'all think? Ooh, and I was so nervous to do it too. This is truly my real hair. And I want you to tell me otherwise. I'm back again. Because as requested, I'm doing some long curl, which I'm actually loving. I didn't record everything else because it just takes too long. But I figured I would show y'all um, me doing the rest of my hair. Here's me wearing this shirt for three days in a row. Well, I didn't wear it for three days in a row, but you know, making this video.
I actually love these curls. Um, I'm doing the same thing I did yesterday with this spritz and the bio silk. I need to get more of both. <laughs> Get into it. Oops. I actually should have did this yesterday in the first place. Anyway, um, that's it for today's video. Again, I'm wearing the 20 inches light yaki um, bundles. I have the ultra full set. Let me see. Yeah, I have the ultra full set in 300 grams, um, which is around three to four bundles. You can use code CQND to get some money off. Even if you don't want to try tape ins, they have clip-ins, webs, they have micro links, the eye tips, they got everything. So yeah, just check them out and tell them I sent you. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all on my next video.